We do not have long to wait now for the new Mario Strikers Battle League. And oh my god, guys, I am so excited for this game. Get everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. The polish on this game just looks crisp. If you've played the other Mario Striker games on the other older systems on the GameCube and the Wii, then you can see this is a genuine upgrade. The animations, the characters, the feel, the polish. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But there is some concern early. There's some criticism. We're going to go over all of this. We're going to address all these issues and why we shouldn't panic just yet. Stick around. Here we go. And yes, we finally got a new trailer for Mario Strikers Battle League. And in my last video, I was saying the game isn't far away and surely we'll be getting a new trailer soon. Will it be at the Nintendo Direct in June or will they be releasing it separately? And here we go. Literally just after I released that video, a few hours later, we got that trailer. And it's got people talking and it's got people going a bit crazy and I can see why. Only... 10 playable characters to start the game. People are like, where are the rest of the characters? Where is the rest of the content? I can really understand people's concern. Only 10 playable characters on a multiplayer game. So when you're picking these characters, there's not many differences to choose from and it's gonna look very similar or will it? Daisy not included in the startup roster. That's a really a big surprise for me. I didn't see that happening. But before we get into the negative side of things that have got people concerned, if you paid real close attention to this trailer, you will see they haven't just broken this da uh, game down and rebuilt it from scratch. They have added to everything that's already made this game very popular with Nintendo and gaming fans. The aggression, the animations, the design, the concept, just it looks next level. They have really put the extra care into this game, which they need to because Mario sports games, for me these days, just feel like a cash grab. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces, I really didn't enjoy that game as much as I wanted to. Mario Golf, oh my goodness, I was really, really looking forward to this game coming to the Nintendo Switch, and when I played it, I was terribly disappointed with the amount of content that was launched with this game. I just, I don't the direction they are going with gaming, uh, sorry, sports games with Nintendo and Mario characters these days, it's just really disappointing me. But my hopes have been restored after seeing the trailer and the animations and the polish they are putting on this game. We know we've only got 10 characters to start with, but you just know Nintendo is not going to just leave us with 10 characters. But what does that mean? Does that mean we will be getting DLC? Does that mean we'll be doing unlockable characters? I really hope Nintendo doesn't go down the DL side of things. I can understand why they do the DLC things. They release the game with 10 characters and you play it for a couple of months and then people start losing interest or grabbing different games. Then they bring out a trailer at directs or presentations or whatever and say, hey, we're bringing two or three or four or one more new character to the roster so people want to go back to the game and play that character. You put it down again a few months later, more characters get added to the game. It keeps you coming back and playing this game, keep you playing the game you spent money on. I am not a fan of that concept at all. I like the unlockable side of things. I don't mind if we've only got 10 or 8 characters to start with if you can unlock them by doing things in the game. I'll go back and I'll use Mario Golf 64 on the N64 days. You start with a very small, minimal roster. You don't even start with Mario. You have to play these characters 1v1 in a Mario Golf game. And if you defeat that character in a golf match, then you unlock them, you can use them. I'm not saying I want to do a 1v1 soccer game or a penalty shootout against a character to unlock them. Maybe some sort of tournament mode, maybe some sort of team event. I'm not sure what they want to do yet because we still don't know exactly how that's going to work. But that's my favorite side of things. Playing and earning these characters, not some cheap DLC or paid loot, but I just really don't like that concept at all. But in the comments down below, you can let me know what characters you think we will be seeing what characters we might be able to unlock what characters DLC will be added to the game because you can just guarantee put your house on it that there will be more than 10 characters come 12 months 24 months time when all the DLC or unlockable characters gets added to this game but why have they done 
this? Why had they only added 10 characters? Well, I can see if you watch the trailer closely, they are very high on their customization. So if someone's picking Yoshi and the other person's picking Yoshi and someone's picking Donkey Kong and that person's picking Donkey Kong, they should look very different because the amount of customization you can do with each character is quite big. So there should be no characters, no Yoshis or Luigis or Peaches looking the same because everyone's uniform, the colors, the boots, the helmets, everything can be customized and I think this is a big add to the game so I think they are forcing your hand to use this option. If they added 20 or 30 characters to start this game then customization would not be as big because there'd be so many different characters to choose from when there's only limited characters to choose from nintendo they are forcing your hand to use this customization mode we could also get more dlc customization or unlockable special uniforms or helmets or socks or boots cleats whatever we could get these unlocked throughout the game as well gold boots gold helmets who knows but if you look at the the trailer you can see that they, all the characters are looking different and I think Nintendo are trying to force our hand by using this customization mode. And I highly doubt a Nintendo wouldn't be brave or stupid enough to do this pay DLC where if you want special characters you have to pay to get them. Oh my goodness, if Nintendo went and did this there would be rioting outside the Nintendo headquarters. So don't stress, do not worry about that. We will get more characters, we will get some sort of unlockable special equipment or more characters by unlocking doing tasks. I hope Nintendo goes down that path. But just focus on the positives right now. The actual gameplay of this game looks sensational. They have really put a lot of time and effort into this. You can see it when it was announced a while back now, it got me really excited. And I'm glad as it's getting closer to the release date, I'm not getting too disappointed. I'm getting more excited. And I can see a lot of people out there are feeling the same. Yes, there's some criticism about the characters and that is justified, but hopefully we will see unlockable DLC. That's probably what's going to happen I don't want it to happen because I feel like they do that too often these days but yet again in Smash Bros you do unlockable characters so we will see what happens there but in the comments down below let me know what you are most excited for in this game are you excited about certain characters not being there being there are you annoyed about certain characters being there not being there the customization mode are you getting this game on release day let me know in the comments down below thank you very much for watching guys and until next time Take care.